Next, Dr. Seuss's no good Grinch is up to his usual tricks when the Grinch Grinches the cat in the hat. Followed by Cindy Williams and Bill Hudson in Just Like Family. Then a school election and a garbage accident spelled trouble for Duck on Danger Bay. Tonight on the Disney Channel. Whistlebirds woke. The whistlebirds all woke up whistling. beautiful morning it was. Even the Grinch woke up whistling. His dog, Max, was amazed. He stared up from the floor. A whistling Grinch? Never happened before. Never before had this nasty old guy leapt out of his bed with a smile in his eye and whistled hello to the birds in the sky. Unbelievable! This was gooder than good. This was grander than grand. There was peace in his heart. There'd be peace in the land. And a very good morning to you, Mr. Grinch. There it is, is it? Well, it, it seems so. Sort of. I see nothing to whistle about. You must be out of your head, no doubt. I think the time has come for thee to repeat the Grinch's oath with me. Our Grinch is unhelpful, unfriendly, unkind, with ungracious thoughts in an unhealthy mind. A Grinch is uncheerful, uncouth, and unclean. Now say this together. I'm frightfully vain. My eyes are both shifty. My, my fingers are thrifty. My mouth will not smile. Not half of an inch. I'm a Grinch. I am a Grinch. I'm a Grinch. That's my boy. Now go out and prove it. <laughs> are busy buzzing in the bees of berry vine while the bees are very sweet in the good old sunny shine it's gonna be a sunny buzzy bees of berry day a day when cats put on fresh hats when cats put on their picnic hats and go outside to play <laughs> Oh, the leaf 
frogs are a leafin and they're leafin mighty fine. And they're peepin while they're leafin in the good old sunny shine. It's gonna be a peepin leafin moo-moo of a day. A fuzzy berry, beasley berry, lulu of a day. Straight out of my way. I am tremendously so, so sorry, Mr. Whatever your name is. I do seem to be blockerizing and obstructivating your mobility. Obstructivating my mobility. Willity. However, Mr. Hooses, if you will be so kind as to hold my hot dog, that's a good fellow. I will de-blockerize and de-obstructivate this roadway, allowing you to sally forth on your merry, merry way. I deeply deplore any inconvenienceities that I may have caused you, Mr. Greenface. Greenface? I thank you for your patience, and I wish you a felicitous resumption. Toward your ultimate destination on the Mr. Greenface. Complexitous complication in this world of peculiar puzzleization. In this world of ridiculous ruffialization, there comes a time for relaxification. Your life's full of boulders, but shrug your shoulders. Just shrug your shoulders. Relax. In this world of comp- <laughs> In this world of peculiar- <laughs> In this world of- problems, Mr. Cat in the Hat? Come inside. I have something to show you. This, sir, is my acoustical anti-audial bleeper, otherwise known as my vacuum sound sweeper. That? That's the darn thing that makes the sound sound stupid? It sucks out of the air every noise, every sound and gargles the sound waves for 50 miles round. 50 little contraption, isn't it? Zimplausible, zimpossible, unreasonable, and unlawsable. Such things never happen in the middle of the day, and if they do, I ignore them, and they're bound to go away. <laughs> Ah! 
from now on, you will hear what I want you to hear. Born again, off again, make the sound off again. I am the boss of what everyone hears. The sound of your voice is the sound of my choice. I am the master of everyone's ears. With a flick of my thumb, with the greatest of ease, if I wish, I can stop all the buzzing of bees. And as for your lovebirds, I can't stand their chirping, so I just push my button, your lovebirds start burping! <laughs> the sounds that you make are the sounds of my choice. I can make you sound better or make you sound worse. When your bull goes out mooing, there'll be no more mooing. When I wish to hear moos, I can hear them from moos. Not for me. I can puzzle the sound of what everyone hears. I'm the puzzle of master of everyone. Master of everyone's ears. <laughs> Where are your mats? Who oh, no, Maxi Maxi? No Heidi Wadi from Grinchy Winchy. That cat, that Beaselberry cat, I snuggled his sound. Now I'll even do more. Take this up to my shop on the 39th floor. That cat's gonna suffer like never before. <laughs> The legal gear, and as you know, it goes round and it makes the legal gear go. And the legal gear turns the elliptical struts, which in turn is attached to the transital trucks, which rotates the flange of the Salamon ducks. And that decompresses the spatulate springs, which fluctuate round in the ramulus springs. <laughs> Heats up the pongs as they heat up the pings, and that brings about <laughs> the most horrible things. <laughs> Max, <clears throat> do you know what a lighthouse is? A lighthouse makes light, so just for a lark, I built me a dark house. A dark house makes dark. I just push a button up here in this place, and you can't see your mitten in front of your face. Huh? What? What? I can't see my mitten in front of my face. Feeling pretty good, Mr. Cat in the Hoot. Besides being boss of your ears and your sound, I can make gloom for a hundred miles round. Ooh, that Grinch! That Grinch! That psychopathic Grinch! Why is a Grinch? What makes him tick? 
Why is his Grinch brain sick, sick, sick? Oh, boy, if I had a psychiatrist couch, I'd find out what's wrong with that Grinchy grouch. That's a lot of rot. Is there something in your family tree that causes Grinch delinquency? Absolutely not. As a boy, were you never a good boy scout? Did you ever eat too much sauerkraut? Did your school teacher say that you were a fool? Did you dive in an empty swimming pool? Positively not. Did you fight a lot with your older sisters? Did you suffer from poison ivy blisters? The shoes that you wore, were they too tight? Were you afraid to go out in the dark at night? Did some big bully steal your kite? Your teeth, was there something wrong with your bite? Or maybe your mother didn't what? treat Mama? you right? Absolutely, positively, that's a lot of rot. <laughs> One of the most difficult patients I've ever had. I'm going to have to make a house call. is getting quite dull, don't you think? Let's liven things up with some persimmon pink. Chef special. But I'm not hungry. An excellent choice. Here you are, sir. The delicious sizzling chef special. Watch this. I'll give him a double gadickle flummax deluxe. Oh, what a super duper flummax deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> Triple ring fits around Gunkel de Schlock with a marshmallow sauce and a cherry on top.
that Grinch. He has smuggled our light. He's guzzled our sound. He's bamboozled our lives. And a way must be found to cease him from splotting his evil around. changed. He hates cows. He hates cats. He hates frogs. He hates doves. Is there no one, no one, nobody he loves? Absolutely not. That's a lot of rot. Rob me down. I've got it. I've got it. I've got the Grinch psychologicalized. You, 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 and you. Follow me, men and madam. We're going to un-Grinch the Grinch. <laughs> How am I doing, old fellow? Magnificently. This was gooder than good. This was grander than grand. There was peace in his heart. There'd be peace in the land. And a very good morning to you, Mr. Grin. Oh, it is, is it? I think the time has come for thee to repeat the Grinch's... <laughs> <laughs> 